In this video, I answer the questions, what is the option world strategy? How do you pick stocks to trade the option world strategy with? Does the world strategy actually work? And how much cash do I need to retire using the optional strategy? Let's get started. The technique involves selling cash secured put options in stocks or ETFs that you'd feel comfortable owning. Then if a stock or ETF is assigned to you or it's put into your account, you then begin to sell covered call options against that position. In positions that are dividend paying stocks, you also begin collecting the dividend. If, however, the put is not assigned and expires worthless, then you sell a new put option in the same or a different underlying asset. It's as simple as that. However, there are several very important factors that you want to consider when using the will strategy. One of the most common questions that I get asked is how do I pick stocks for the will strategy? And that's an extremely important question. It's important because the stocks you pick, well, they're the basis of keeping your cash flow machine running. It can be quite challenging to pick which stocks to trade in because there are an overwhelming amount of potential trading opportunities. With so many companies to choose from, how do you narrow your list down to something more manageable? This is really a question that you have to decide for yourself, but I'll give you my answer to that question. I only want to trade in companies that are mature, have a long track record of being profitable in good and in bad times, that are growing to some extent, the more the better, and they're not burdened down by a whole bunch of debt. I also want them to produce a product or provide a service that will be in demand in good and bad market environments. I also prefer companies that pay a dividend, although that's not a requirement for the stocks that I trade in. One of the simple reasons why I prefer companies that pay dividends is because if the company hits a snag and the economy takes a downturn, Worst case scenario, the company could always stop paying that dividend, which would free up some extra capital for them that they could use to continue growing and to make it through the challenging situation. A company that has razor thin margins, doesn't have very much cash flow or enough cash flow to even pay dividends, when times get tough, those companies might find it challenging to not only thrive, but even to survive. You see, if you're going to put your cash into an asset that you want to survive the rest of your life, in my opinion, you want that asset to be rock solid. For example, if you had a huge wad of cash, would you rather put it on a toy paper boat or on a sturdy cargo ship or freighter? I think we all agree that we'd rather have it in something that the odds of it sinking were very small. That's how I view the companies that I trade in. I want them to be sturdy, solid, unlikely to sink with my money invested in them. I want them to be companies that hopefully will be around for a long time. The reason for that is if you're using the will strategy to generate income, there are absolutely going to be times when either the overall market experiences a drop or even crashes, or maybe bad news comes out about the companies that you're trading in and their stock will be assigned to you. And as a result, your money might be tied up in those companies for an extended period of time. When that happens, you don't want to be worrying about if the company is going to go away or go out of business or not. The only consideration in a situation like that will be how much cash flow can I generate by selling covered call options? And if it's a dividend paying company, can I generate by collecting dividends while I wait for the stock price to rebound? In just a minute, I'm going to share with you how much cash flow this strategy has put into our pocket over the past 12 months. But before I get to that, I want to share with you three of my favorite secret tips and tricks that I use on a daily basis to increase our return, the amount of cash we put into our pocket, all while decreasing the amount of risk that we are taking on our trades. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that there are other option techniques that I use in addition to cash secure puts and covered calls. For example, if it's a non-dividend paying stock, in my opinion, there's absolutely no reason to do a covered call. Instead of a covered call, if a put option is assigned to us in a non-dividend paying stock, I like to immediately switch that position over to a poor man's covered call. If you're not familiar with poor man's covered calls or would like some more information on that strategy, I'll leave a link down in the description below to a series of videos I made on poor man's covered calls as well as leap options. They'll help you see how you can generate some really nice cash flow and return on non-dividend stocks all while decreasing your risk. I also use that strategy on very low paying dividend stocks. Another tool I use on every single trade is technical analysis. I'm not going to go into great detail about all the different ways that we use technical analysis to put the odds of winning in our favor, but I do want to share with you one that we use on every single trade. Here's an example of a trade I did in Merck. Before I place that trade, I looked at charts from four different time frames. Starting in the top left, we have the 15 minute chart. At the bottom left, the hourly chart. In the middle, that's the daily chart. On the right, it's the weekly chart. I like to sell put options and stocks that have been experiencing a decline and preferably a sharp decline, but whose decline is subsiding and stabilizing. I also like to sell put options just below or right at support. Notice that although Merck had experienced a sharp decline starting from a high of about 92 and a half several weeks ago, it now appears to be slowing its decline and even beginning to level off. This is actually in sharp contrast to the overall market. Today is November 30th and the SP 500 is actually down right at 1.7% as of right now. 
However, Merck is down just 0.4% right now. As you see, it previously found support right around $72 per share on the daily chart. If you look over at the weekly chart, the red trend moving average has been serving as nice support for it over the past couple years. Because of that, we decided to go ahead and take a starter position by selling the January 21st 72 and a half put option. For that, we were paid $2.84 per share. If you run that return for the 52 days that we'll at most be in this position, it equates to a 27.5% annualized non-leveraged return on capital. I like to find areas of previous support and preferably on multiple time frames and sell cash secure puts right at or just below those areas of support. By doing this, you're selling a put option in a stock that has already experienced a decline, so it's less likely that it will continue declining. It will be in an area where it found support previously and because of recent declines, volatility will be elevated at least a little bit. That will help you get more premium. Keep in mind that we don't know how these things are going to play out. For all we know, the overall market, it could drop 50% from here like it did in the Great Recession. However, whether it drops further or stabilizes and bounces back, since we're going to be putting trades on every single month, we may as well put the odds of winning in our favor as much as possible. By the way, if that was real useful what I just shared with you, then I would love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. And thank you so much for doing that. So now the question is, does the will strategy really work? Is it a strategy that you can depend on to consistently generate cash flow for you every single month and possibly help you to retire sooner than you ever thought possible? The answer to that question is, in my opinion, absolutely. Let me show you the cash that we've generated over the past 12 months by using the will strategy. In December of 2020, we had right about $550,000 cash set aside for this strategy. Over the past 12 months, as I've been selling rental properties, I've been adding capital to this portfolio. Now this portfolio has just over a million dollars in cash in it. This won't be exact, but if we take the average capital that we had set aside for this strategy, over the past year, we had on average right at $775,000. Now I know that may be a lot more than some of you have access to, and it may be a lot less than some of you have at your disposal, but at least it gives you a number to work with. If you have $100,000, then you can do the math to see how much you could potentially have made in a similar market with the same trades we did over the past 12 months. Now please understand that each trader is different. Their success or lack thereof will be dependent upon their decisions. Also, please know that there are no guarantees that we'll be able to replicate what we did last year. So how much cash we're able to generate over the past 12 months using a strategy similar to the will strategy? Here you see that in all, we put net cash into our pocket over the past 12 months of $143,357 by using the will strategy with our tweaks. There were some costs involved. For example, you see that we paid $873.84 in commissions and we paid $196.50 for access to live data. In addition to option income, you see that at the bottom of the long list of dividends we received, in all, we were paid $5,724 in dividends over the past 12 months. So in all, between dividends, option income, and expenses that we incurred, we put just over a net of $148,000 cash into our account. So let me ask you, does the will strategy work? If you'd like to receive alerts when we do trades similar to the ones I showed in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see more details on how much cash will we generate on a monthly basis using the will strategy along with our special techniques, check out the video series at the link above and description below entitled option trading monthly cash flows. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.